Hello and welcome back. I am Chuck Datestos and you are in my domain. So please take off your shoes. It's Rude AF. If you are not subscribed yet, well, no wonder you forgot your shoes. Jokes aside, this is the Bear Mode Druid. While there's nothing original, um, this build always has a sweet spot in my heart. Uh, as I have a very similar build on my regular Diablo 2, this build is pretty fun to play. And if you want it to be this strong, you will require some investment to do so though. But keep in mind, this build is not min-max at the moment and it still has a lot of room for improvement. I have a weapon of choice for this kind of setup and it is the Ribcracker. Of course, there are better weapons out there, but there is no reason to pick any of them when you have access to this staff. And this staff, what it has that the others doesn't have, is the best sound effect in the entirety of Diablo 2. While we wait for me to mold the clone to death, there are some notable improvements that could be made to strengthen this build. Um, first would be some maximum damage more charm. Uh, there could be also the Fort Wind Ward or the Chain of Honor Wind Ward. And I am also using quite a few pieces without any corruption. While I genuinely enjoy playing this build, it has one major flaw that is extremely annoying to play around, and that is the atrocious faster hit recovery animation on the shapeshift. I mean it, it's completely disgusting and I will show it off um, a bit later after the Diablo clone fight. But it also has some amazing pros. First is the beer form grants a lot of defense, meaning we get it much less often. Thanks God it will allow us to save a few recovery animations. It also grants a lot of HP, meaning we can invest more into Strange if we want to to increase our damage instead of putting everything into Vitality. And before I forget, there is something else I forgot to talk about for the rib, the rib cracker weapon. It grants defense, meaning it cover up a bit for the lack of a chill. It also has faster hit recovery and an insane amount of base damage, meaning that our minimum damage will always be super close to our maximum damage. Alright, so the clone is down. So while I keep rambling about totally useless information that nobody really cares about, please pay very close attention to my character every time he gets hit. You will see how disgusting the hit recovery animation actually is, but do not forget to listen to the important things I have to say at the same time. Right now I am sitting at 86 faster hit recovery, even so, it is extremely easy to get surrounded and get snuck into the limbo of continuous recovery animation. And it really is the one only bad part of this build. No, it's not a super fast map runner, it's not even an amazing declone killer, but this char can do all content in the game, Obers, declone maps, name it, you can take it. Tearing Ribby the Cracker, you want this up? Ethereal with a Zod and two shares, otherwise you will not be able to reach your next attack breakpoint. This staff, I love it. On our head is Veil of Steel, giving us resistances and enhanced damage. Covering our manly chest is Tyrell's Might, faster run walk, enhanced damage, resistances cannot be frozen, it is a great armor all around. You may have noticed that I am using a bunch of 40 ED and 15 increased attack speed jewels in both armor and health, but it is actually not needed. Uh, I am only using those because I have access to nothing else via the pluggy starter pack. Only the hand hands damage part will be important because Nether will give us new attack speed frames. In bear form, the most important place to have attack speed is on the weapon, which is why shales is the way to go. Even the fate on the mercenary is totally irrelevant, so take whatever you want. Around our neck is Eye Lord, as another way to increase our damage is Deadly Strike. Not sure how we manage to wear the boots, but Gore Rider is the way to go with Deadly Strike. I am also using two bull. Um, I am using two bull Katos rings, increasing our life and leech. Yep, two bull Katos rings. If you want to use another armor, consider a Raven Frost to keep the cannot be frozen. Uh, not holding your pants is Belt, Nosfera to Coil, Life Leech, Deadly Strike, Strange, all decent stat. And finally, Steel Wind Mitten. To keep our little paws hot, it grants hand hands damage and crushing blow, those are the best in slot. As for the charms, we are using a bunch of shapeshifter charms and life with resistances small charms. Obviously, the setup isn't ideal, 
you want maximum damage more charms with lie. If you lack some resistances, you can use um runes into your armor socket or put some uh, resistances more charm. Maximum resistances, around 2k HP, a ton of HP, of defense, sorry, enough attack rating to hit everything. I reach 11 to 15k damage without mole stack. You want enough dexterity to equip gear? A bit more if you want enough attack rating, isn't a bad idea. Enough vitality to reach around 2k HP and everything else into strange. Here I went with full vitality setup because this is hardcore and I wanted to be d -clone. And You can also reach 15 to 21k damage with fully stacked mole. Finally, to cover the skills, you want max lycanthropy, bear form, mole, and finally heart of wolverine. Everything else into um. Uh, we are finally done! This is the end! Once more, I want to thank each and every single one of you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, mole that like button and until next stream or video, take care and bye bye If some of you are interested, I will probably do a stream on Friday and just creating a char from scratch on multiplayer and maybe be playing with some of you if you are interested. So. Goodbye.